Let's do a quick little update on the 1.8 Turbo Cruise project. Let's go. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update on the cruise and some of the things we need to address before we go to the dyno. As you guys know, we've talked about it in the past. We're gonna go from the 2.75 to this three and a half inch diameter intake tubing. So we're gonna have to cut this thing down to size. And I'm thinking about going ahead and making a heat shield. And I'll show you why, because we're starting to generate some pretty darn good heat. <laughs> underneath the the hood there's even a hole in this stupid i'm not sure that this thing is actually silicone but so that's something we need to address i was thinking about moving the air intake temperature part of the mass airflow sensor somewhere else but i think i'm going to keep it here see if we can't figure out a way to actually get this thing breathing in some cooler air so that's one project we need to work on seeing as we're getting some heat now that we're building some boost, we're definitely starting to melt some of this plastic here. So I need to replace this cover here, fix the issue with these parts down here, it's starting to melt a little bit. And I imagine it's probably from this runner here, which is also pretty close to the radiator hose. So I think I'm going to take the turbo manifold off and wrap it like we've done here. I did tear up my turbo blanket a little bit, so I'm gonna replace this as well while I have everything off. And one of you guys made a really good point with the push to connect fittings. And with our wastegate down here, we do have plastic fittings. I do have a, a couple metal push to connect fittings. So while we have this thing off, I'm going to replace those with metal just to make sure we don't have any issues. When I initially put the engine back in, I did not check for my clearance properly with my fan so it did touch the fan just a little bit melted it a little bit all i had to do is scoot the fan back a little bit i forgot to put my standoffs back on which tilt the radiator forward just a little bit which ultimately ended up burning up a fuse and the fan wasn't kicking on i noticed one day while i was tuning the car that it was starting to run a little hot and something else we need to address is the fact that the cam seals are leaking just a little bit. I have removed and installed the same cam seals at least a couple, two or three different times. So we're just gonna replace those in which we do have to replace the bolts that hold the cams on and some other assorted bolts. Not too big of an issue, but we need to get it sorted. And one of the things I want to do is build a shield once I upgrade the size of the tubing going to the turbo. And we do have this hole that leads right here in which I'm thinking we can get a fog light and just put a duct that will push some cooler air in this area. So that way we can put that shield. We'll have some cool air being pushed towards the intake and we can get the intake air temps down because they have been a little warm. And another fun fact, my laptop is just acting up what I've been using to tune the car with. So I need to figure that out as well. I am going to get some help with the dyno tune obviously, but I still want to be able to data log, make adjustments as I go. And I currently cannot do that. And last, but certainly not least, I've been researching, trying to figure out the wiring diagram for this watt box. So essentially this is a two-step as well as a no lift shift. So this is something else we need to install. So that way we can build boost off the line to get that heavy girl up and going fast. So if anybody has wiring diagrams to the clutch pedal, uh, feel free to share that. Cause I do read all y'all's comments and try to reply to every single one of them. So at this moment, I'm waiting on a couple of cam sprocket bolts. You have to replace those anytime you remove the cams. We're waiting on two cam seals. 
so that way we can replace those and address that issue as well. And then there's a couple other miscellaneous bolts that are torque to yield bolts that we have to replace when servicing the car, like the, like the timing idler bolt, the crankshaft balancer bolt, other little things like that. But they are things that we need to address. We're going to heat wrap the turbo manifold as much as I like looking at it. I think it would be best to wrap it with some, you know, exhaust wrap. We just need to wrap the thing up so that way we can keep all that heat inside the turbo system itself, preventing any future issues. And ladies and gentlemen, not only that, one of the things I want to do is put some vents on the hood. There are some vents that look pretty decent. I didn't want to have to do that because I'm trying to keep it as stealth as possible, but I do think we need to evacuate some of the under hood heat to make sure the engine lives a long life. And they'll, they'll look something like this so as always thanks for tuning in these are some of the things I still need to do I'm just waiting on parts let me know what you guys think down in the comments I'm going to go live tomorrow which is Sunday might do it like around noon or 1 p.m. somewhere around there I'll see you guys in the live give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't leave a comment down below and we'll see you tomorrow so peace out what's your peace out